Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your pal, Possible. I'm here. We are back with another Ministry Logic Basics tutorial. Today, we're going to be looking at the jump lock, which is uh, pretty important, honestly. It's, uh, it's when you start being able to program more intelligent actions into your program. So let's start. Let's throw it down here. What is it? What does it do? Uh, basically, all the jump lock does is allow you to set conditions for you to be able to move to other pieces of your code. So let's let's make it really simple here. I'm going to set you guys up an example. Let's get a message blocked out here so you guys can uh, follow this a little bit easier. And we're going to set a variable. We're going to make this variable. It doesn't really much matter. We're going to say x equals 5. And we're going to say if x is not uh, 2, go somewhere. Else we're going to end. So if it's not two, we'll go over here, we're going to print X and we're going to print flesh. There we go. And I have to set up the actual jump. So end, what it does is it essentially is just a jump that sends your code back to the beginning of the code. So, uh, and if you, if you get to the end of the code, it did, uh, code essentially just throws the end in there for you. But this is essentially how you say, okay, I'm done. Start another, you know, start the code over again. And uh, so that's how we're going here. And now what we have is set up, we're saying if X is not two, uh, then it, then our jump condition is met. And we're gonna come down here and print the message box, uh, X in the message box. So when we get out of this, uh, we should see five in the message box. And we do because five is not two. So let's go ahead and change this. Now let's set X equal to two and let's see what happens. It still says five because we never cleared the input there. Now it won't, you know, it, it, it feels like cheating. <laughs> Let's start by doing this. I'll go through it really quick for you. We're setting the X here to 30 and we're saying if X is not two. So if it's any number that does not equal two, we're jumping this code right here. This code never gets run and we're going down to over here. We're printing the X and we're flushing it to the message block. So right now when we exit this, we should see the message block says 30. And it does, and there's no weird stuff going on. It just says dirty. Now I'm going to set X to 2 so that this condition is now met. Now when it gets to this area here, it doesn't jump down here. It keeps going straight. So then the uh, print gets sent to the uh, message. And it says, okay, send an empty string, add an empty string to the stack, and then send that to the message block. And then terminate the script and go back up to the top. So we get out of here, the message block should now just be an empty string. And that's what it is. So that is the essence of how the uh, jump works. There's all sorts of different conditionals you can put in here. So you say, okay, if X equals two, if X is less than two, if, you know, if X is greater than or equal to, and of course you can just have it, you know, always jump here. But uh, those are the different conditionals. This is a uh, you know this is kind of the brains of your programming. Once you uh, can start doing jumps, you can set up you know basic you know flow structure. You know you got your if conditionals. You, you can set up while loops and stuff. There's all sorts of things that are the jump command allows you to do. It is pretty powerful. Once you understand this, you'll be able to do so much more with your programs. Anyway, guys, we're going to end this one here. This has been another Ministry Logic Basics tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you if you understand the jump command now, it'll help you out hugely. Anyhow, I'll be back with another one of these before long. I'll see you guys then.